Those who retain memory through organic cellular replication through quantum light shall incarnate with those memories intact. All that has gone before therefore reaches its conclusion within the planetary and human collective as the cellular streams that allow for memory retention at soul level are catalyzed into a cascade formation within DNA sequencing. Upon your planet, in your now time nexus point, you approach the time of this cellular cascade. And it is of the greatest import that you remain within an emotional and psychological balanced state through the true observation of the one who is wise. For the cellular cascade presents much catalyzation to the mind. The mind that does not know of the truth of memory activation moves thus into bewilderment, confusion and apprehension. Yet he or she who is grounded and anchored within this observational state we speak of, tempering the memory cascade as it surges through the body-mind at ever higher and higher speeds, reaching its crescendo, is observed without judgment. When the non-judgmental observation takes place, the bliss codes are thus activated through the cascade. And this is when true alchemy takes place. Without this observation we speak of, then the bliss codes cannot be activated and the alchemy process cannot begin. This process is your spiritual divine right to allow for the memory cascade to be observed without judgment. To do this effectively, one needs the peace within the experiential reality, the wholesome, organic, live synergy with reality itself. Great nations that have gone before you have experienced this. The ancestors stood before crystal generators of red rock, and allowed for the cascade, assisted by the warmth of the burning sun, which did not burn their skin, for the body was in a state of alchemy. Presented to you by those who know of the great cascade, who do not wish for this cascade to occur for their own reasons, is a reality that is in extreme polarity opposition to the one needed for successful cascade and alchemy within to take place. For how do you find peace when there is strife? And how do you find harmony where there is conflict? How do you access the organic purity of reality when the earth is prodded with electrical force to mimic that which is natural? and space ripples and fluctuations are created that affect the moon tides and waves of electrical dynamic force upon your planet that result in the whispers of the wind becoming shouts and hollers and the gentle rains becoming floods. When the storms are created, the storm fires within, the natural cycle giving rise to idea and thus creativity in a quantum myriad expression. Yet the timing is everything as seasons are matched with storms and through cycles with bouts of sunshine. As you thus enter your prayer and your reverence to the one true self that is all that is you. For the thunderous to rise out of time brings chaos 
and for the sun to show its rays out of time, you are thus burnt. How then do you mitigate this? That we refer to as hijack or infiltration. If all that is natural and all that is good, as godly and whole, holistic as holy, is hijacked or infiltrated, how then do you mitigate this? This is the path for the one who truly wishes for the memory cascade to take place within. For this is your divine opportunity for collective cascade. The probability fields in your current now time nexus point using that as the baseline moving forward within trajectory the probability fields show that the collective numbers are far far less than they would be if all was natural and organic within your experiential reality yet so too they are far far more than those who create the hijack and infiltration would want and have intended. How does this thus occur? How is the storm mitigated and the temperance of calm waters and sunset sunrise cycles that do not burn found? How is it that there are yet still those who enter the memory cascade cycle and continue forward into bliss activations and thus the sacred alchemy that is their divine right. The key is observation without judgment of all things that are presented, be they within or without. Coupled with the recreation of the organic reality through hyperspace, perceived as double reality, the within superimposed upon the without. The inner central sun thus shines and does not burn. The red rock crystal generators are felt and merged with in all their fullness and actualization. The moonlight is that from silver streams intertwined with the holy waters of the moon tides and not the dark waves of a satellite built as an energetic prison chamber. The double reality is the surreal and to you the most strange. Yet, through your observational stance, it is most natural. For the memory cascade shall show you that you have done this before. We repeat, the memory cascade shall show you that you have done this before. Yes, you have been through this process, both within the organic sunset streams and the hijacked artificial reality presentation. For you are wanderers that merge and move between worlds within your multiple incarnations through quantum streams and quantum time, and you are adepts at what you do. Hear us now, awakened ones, truly awakened ones, truly activated ones. You move as one with the cascade and you are adepts at what you do. These are that which we may call the new earth teachings. Therefore have courage that all shall come to pass for you and look to the meaning here of your personal alchemy as you undergo the process with many, many brothers and sisters simultaneously across your world. Indeed, the tide is not an easy one as the tower falls and crashes around you. The roof caves in, the wallpaper peels off, leaving stain and burning goo underneath. Bricks crumble to dust, 
the floorboards rot and no longer hold as foundation for your feet. Yet within this, through observation without judgment, the new structure is built. The crystal palace springs up around you with walls made of a material that you do not fully understand, yet it merges with you as everything in this godly and holy reality merges with you. And this you see, this you truly see. Yet still you observe without judgment. And as you do this, the bliss codes rise within you like the serpent uncoiling itself through your body-mind, reaching the point of full self-realization and is thus the all-seeing eye. Only observation without judgment can take you there when you walk the positively polarized path. Indeed, there are other ways to achieve this along the negative line, but this is not your path, adepts of light that you are, workers of holy plasma, rainbow warriors within the field. This is not your path. Your path is the positively polarized way. Each time you judge, you lose the ability to flow the next aspect of the cellular memory cascade as piece by piece the serpent flows through quantum coils that adjoin and are one yet are separate. Each new coil within the cascade needs to be given the nourishment of the pink raindrops of sacred oil that feed the energetic construction of that individual coil and so do simultaneously anoint you. By judgment, we do not mean only the formulated opinion of another individual or event. We mean the formulated opinion of anything you perceive and experience within your reality, both inner and outer. Are we saying you are not to have opinion at all? Are we saying you are not to utilize reason? Are we saying you cannot form idea or analytical analysis of said event or individual or presentation? Indeed not. This is not what we say. For all these are the organic electric impulses through that which you know as left hemisphere of the brain activity. We point out to you that this activity encompasses not just the left hemisphere, but the whole. Yet it is not seen in its entirety by your science investigators on your planet. But we digress and we leave the field of neuroscience truth for another time. Know this, the opinion, reason and analytical analysis works not alongside the creativity, abstract thought, appreciation of beauty and mystical or religious experience. Not alongside, but in a state of merge with. The human brain acts, if you will, as a fusion with toroidal figure of eight symmetry. One cannot see what the right hemisphere is doing when the left hemisphere is activated and vice versa in its fullness through physical technology. Only the true eye of Horus, activated through the positive polarized path, shows you the true reality within the structure of the human brain. For one sees the multiple quantum fields behind the physical third dimensional presentation. All this is achieved by embodiment. The mystical and spiritual experience can be found through reason, opinion, and analytical analysis. 
but this will be presented through intellectual understanding and processing only, without the actualized experiential embodiment of the experience itself. Men walk across worlds to find the experience to match the idea and thought. And indeed, the walkabout and pilgrimage is most in alignment with your journey of human exploration and incarnation. This is your path of the sun, Sol, your physical sun, sun. Yet the true experience takes place within, underneath the rays of the inner grand central sun and the hyperspace worlds of the crystal palace. For here, your individual coils within the cascade are communicated with through unconditional and bliss-charged love and are thus given the nourishment needed for the serpent of light to express as a coiled kundalini rising as cellular memory cascade begins again through the cycles of awakening, activation, and ascension. Observation without judgment is the key. We repeat, observation without judgment is the key. Answers to all the questions you could ever imagine to ask, and yet more, are found within this space and place of which we speak. As you approach in your current now time nexus point, yet another tumultuous spike energetic frequency across your planet that is perceived by some as an ending or grand finale. You who know and hold the embodiment of the memory cascade through bliss, you know that time as endings and beginnings are in truth unity cycles of infinite expression. The perception of endings is third dimensional only and is not part of your quantum field and thus your quantum experience. So as you approach this new spike with timings, countings, dates and numbers not needed for this particular transmission. You remain within the eye of the storm, as it were, anchored within temperance and observing all without judgment, allowing even reason, opinion and analytical analysis to become part of the holistic flow of godly and holy experience. You submerge yourselves within these holy waters to be born anew with new realizations through unity templates at the time of the great memory cascade at collective level. Thus, there is bliss, for bliss is generated by the red rock crystals and alchemy thus takes place. For those with ears to hear our words, this is where you are. And these are the new earth teachings. We are the white winged collective consciousness of nine. I am just so, so happy to be able to announce to you that my new book is available. The Diamond Codex and the Quartz Key Accessing the Accelerated Stargate System Through Crystalline Transformation of the Genetic Code What does it mean to transmute one's DNA from carbon-based to crystalline within the context of spiritual enlightenment and physiological evolution? Practical Templates for Photonic Light Gene Expression alchemical unification and light body activation are provided within this channeled transmission 
delivering this codex at a time within humanity's awakening and expansion when synchronicity is abundant. The mysteries of the accelerated Stargate system as an intelligent living infinity structure call the starseeds of Earth to remember why they are incarnated here and what they came here to do. The downloads, epiphanies and realizations that will organically come to each starseed as they immerse themselves within this sacred text are catalysts for those memories. Introducing Dreamwalker, the story, presented through my interdimensional dialogue with the monadic light structure that is the white-winged collective consciousness of Nine. This book has been such an absolute delight and joy to transcribe from the Nine, and I truly hope you enjoy reading it. Available in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle.